From delivering a bone-chilling performance as Marilyn Monroe to being hated by millions, here's why Ana de Armas defends her portrayal of Marilyn Monroe. When Ana de Armas got the role of Marilyn Monroe, she was a bit nervous. In fact, she even described her first scene as terrifying. I mean, playing the role of one of the biggest pop culture icons this world's ever seen would be a daunting task for anyone, right? Well, for Ana de Armas, those nerves must have quickly gone away. Despite the mixed reviews of this film, the 34-year-old actress delivered an absolutely electric performance. And this performance has made waves across the film industry. When she received an Oscar nomination for Best Actress in a Leading Role, she became the first Cuban actress to receive such a nomination for a lead role in a film. And de Armas also received nominations for the Golden Globe Awards, Screen Actors Guild Awards, British Academy Film Awards. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Ana de Armas was even up for Actress of the Year, sheesh. Now, that's a solid performance, but what's really surprising are the other awards that Blonde was nominated for. The film was nominated for a whopping eight awards for the Razzies. Incredible, right? Well, only if you don't do a Google search on what the Razzies Awards are. Just to give you an idea, let's run through the list of its nominations. Xavier Samuel for Worst Supporting Actor. Andrew Dominic and his Issues with Women for Worst Screen Couple. Andrew Dominic for Worst Director. Oh, and not to mention two major wins for, drumroll please, Worst Picture and Worst Screenplay. Now that's a lot of awards. Okay, okay. All jokes aside, how does a film about Marilyn Monroe fail so miserably? Especially considering its lead actress received such strong critical reviews? Well, the answer to that question is a bit complex. This movie could have easily been surface level, subtle, nothing more than what meets the eye. But it went deeper than that. The role that Ana de Armas had to play was more than just the Marilyn Monroe the public had come to know. It attempted to peel back the layers of Marilyn's life and looked at the truth of what she was actually going through. Diarma said it best. When she said this movie wasn't about Marilyn Monroe, it was about Norma Jean. Norma Jean was the name given to Monroe at birth, and that's a perfect representation of what director Andrew Dominic was trying to accomplish, to perfectly portray the tragic life of Norma Jean and not just the icon the world came to know. Once the movie was released, the cast, directors, and team who helped produce the movie weren't prepared for the storm that was about to come. Misogynistic, detestable, disgusting. These were just some of the words used to describe this film. Whoa, the critics didn't hold back. Which leads us to two main questions. Why is Blonde getting so much hate? And is the hate warranted? Overall, the film was trying to accomplish something bold, to really dig deep. But Blonde didn't quite hit the mark like director Andrew Dominic wanted. In fact, many viewers were appalled. For starters, Marilyn Monroe, behind the scenes, lived an extremely tragic life. So showing these moments requires a delicate touch. Many have argued that the depiction of her life was fabricated, but not in the way you might think. The argument isn't that her life wasn't tragic, it's that the movie portrayed these tragedies in ways that weren't sympathetic toward Marilyn and what she went through. Not only that, but also that the movie added moments that never happened in real life. Oof. One IMDb user said, There are some invented moments that are, quite frankly, unforgivable. This statement is the exact reason so many fans are up in arms. It wasn't that filmmakers decided to show the harshness of Marilyn Monroe's life. It was the manner in which they did it. But the question remains, is this backlash warranted? Well, that's a difficult question to answer. Film is art, and as with all art forms, it's completely subjective. It's up to the interpretation of the audience. And the audience just so happens to be extremely well-informed on the life of Marilyn Monroe, which in their eyes was portrayed in a skewed light in Blonde. And yet, despite all of these downfalls, Ana de Armas continues to be the lone bright spot. The same IMDb user added, What kept me glued to the screen was Ana de Armas, a tremendous show of talent and fearlessness. Throughout everything, she continues to be the consensus spotlight of the film. And now, after the whirlwind of negative reviews, 
Ana de Armas, along with the director, have come to the defense of the film. And de Armas says, as hard as it is to hear when people don't like your film, it is what it is. Of course, it's only natural for the cast to defend their own film, but with the rabid nature of these reviews, this feels like a dangerous move for de Armas. She further explained, it was not a movie that was made to please people or to make people like it. It is a hard movie to watch. Strong words from the lead actress, and still not as strong as what director Andrew Dominic had to say. We're living in a time where it's important to present women as empowered, and they want to reinvent Marilyn Monroe as an empowered woman. Whoa, talk about a bold statement. But wait, there's more. Dominic says that's what they want you to see, and if you're not showing them that, it upsets them. Again, whoa. In addition to these words, there's another point that helps this movie's case. The fact that it's based on a book. The movie's actually based on the 2000 novel of the same name, written by Joyce Carol Oates. The book's a fictionalized adaptation of Marilyn Monroe's story, so in Blonde's defense, the film was simply bringing that novel to the big screen. However, that wasn't the director's defense. In fact, none of the main cast or production team has fallen back on that argument. This leads us to yet another question. Does Andrew Dominic have a point in his justification? Well, whether he's right or wrong is completely irrelevant. This is still not the issue the audience had with the film. The issue many had with the film is that it takes incredibly dark moments of Monroe's life and presents him in a fabricated light. Most of the outrage comes from a place of love. People have a deep connection to Marilyn, and seeing her exploited in such a cold way felt cheap. Not everyone had this negative of a review, though. In fact, the Netflix film has continued to gain traction. Looking through internet reviews, you'll notice that the casual moviegoer reviews are more positive than that of the critics. Okay, maybe not that much better, but still, an improvement. Is this because the movie is at least entertaining, or could it be because of Ana de Armas' performance? Well, probably the latter. All in all, here's what we do know. Blonde's been constantly scrutinized since its fall release of 2022, and that scrutiny doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And yet, Ana de Armas continues to receive praise for her role in the film. The movie's been propped up through all of the award nominations, along with her being the lone bright spot of most critic reviews. And just when you thought she couldn't do enough for this movie, she's continued to defend it, along with her director, every chance they get. There might be some regrets about how this movie was made, but one thing's for certain, they picked the right actress. And there you have it. From delivering a bone-chilling performance as Marilyn Monroe to being hated by millions, that's why Ana de Armas defends her portrayal of Marilyn Monroe.